Taking a look at both of these technologies, you can see there is an incredible difference. With this typical halogen bulb, you can see that the light is emitted completely around it, 360 degrees. And that is not quite the same with the LED. So this LED really only emits light in two different directions. This is exactly why I have a suspicion that this halogen bulb will actually produce a better light pattern out of these housings. Today, yeah. Today, I'm going old school. Taking a look at this brilliant 1995 Suburban, you can see this thing screams old school. And that is precisely the look I'm going for with this truck. So if that's the case, then why do I have these? These LED headlights. That is most certainly not old school. Now I'll admit, it definitely looks cool. It looks unique. I like it, but not on my 95 Suburban. This is an old school truck. It's square. It's utilitarian. So why do I have new school white LEDs in the headlights? Yeah, I don't know. I got excited about them because they are cool. I like them in some vehicles, just not my 95. So today we're going back to the past not the future, we're going back. We're gonna be replacing these LED bulbs with the typical halogen bulbs that originally came installed on this truck. And I think it's gonna look brilliant. You know, one thing I'm definitely questioning with these LED headlights is, although that light color is definitely more white, I'm not so sure if it's more bright. You know what, you guys be the judge of that and make sure you comment down below which ones you like better. Here you can see that light pattern on the wall and the truck isn't square to the wall so that's why that one looks a little different from this one. But I'm pretty sure that once I install the old school halogens, we're not gonna get much change there. As a matter of fact, I'm very curious to see if that light pattern on the wall actually improves. These housings were originally designed with the typical halogen bulb in mind. They didn't design these housings around LEDs. No, not at all. These are designed to project the typical halogen bulb. So I'm very curious and I kind of think we'll be surprised when I put these halogens back in and see an improvement in the light pattern coming out of these lenses. We'll see. And one more thing, just for all of the LED diehards out there, I'm not saying I dislike LEDs. I really like LEDs. There's far less power consumption and far less heat to ruin the inside of these plastic housings. A lot of other benefits too. They look cool, but for my truck, I want that old school halogen look. Okay guys, first things first, let's shut these lights off and pop the hood. And we're gonna start taking out these light housings so I can get at the bulbs. Okay, for this truck in particular, you have to remove this whole lens housing in order to get at the back so you can remove and replace the bulbs. But it's actually a lot easier than it seems. There's these two poles sticking up and these are actually the bolts that we're gonna be removing to release this whole housing. And I'll be doing that very easily with my drill and a five millimeter socket with an extension on it. Put it on there and back it out. All right, once those are backed out, you're gonna pull them out all the way. Do not lose them. And then we can simply pull the housing. With the housing removed, you can see the back of this LED. And this right here is a passive heat sink. Some of them have active and powered fans, but this one is a passive design. And personally, I like that better. There's less moving parts to fail and you don't hear a fan spinning when your headlights are on. They install and remove exactly the same way as a normal halogen bulb. So let's do that now. We're just gonna twist it and pull it out just like that. And same thing on this one twist and pull, and there is a gasket in there that's kind of holding these things in tight. There we go. Because these are LED, there is a bit more to them. You can see there's a little box here containing some electronics, as well as some extra cord leading to the actual LED here. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this from the factory harness. Taking a look at both of these technologies, you can see there is an incredible difference. Turning the LED on its side, you can see it is much thinner. With this typical halogen bulb, you can see that the light is emitted completely around it, 360 degrees. And that is not quite the same with the LED. You can see there is a panel on both sides 
sides? So this LED really only emits light in two different directions. This is exactly why I have a suspicion that this halogen bulb will actually produce a better light pattern out of these housings. The housings were designed to project light from a bulb that produces light at 360 degrees. One thing that a lot of people overlook when it comes to LEDs versus halogen is light quality. And I can tell you right now that just like the sun, a burning light like this halogen produces an extremely high quality of light. And that's not always the same for LEDs. LEDs have different ratings. One of them is called CRI or Color Rendering Index. And it's pretty much based upon a perfect light like from the sun or from a burning halogen bulb. At this current point in time, LEDs have come a long way, but their light quality is nowhere near as good as a typical halogen bulb. Yes, this light definitely has a more yellow or tungsten color to it, but personally, I absolutely love it. Taking a closer look at this LED bulb, although the light color is a lot more cool, as in bluish white color, you can see its downfall is that it's only projected from each side of the panel. You can see there's a dark band on my hand, and that is a shadow where no light is being projected. And as far as light quality goes, you might actually be able to tell that the skin color on my hand doesn't quite look right. It doesn't look bad, but it certainly doesn't look right. Maybe a little too white with some reds popping out there and maybe even some green. And that is certainly not the case with the halogen. To install the halogen bulb, it is very easy. You're just gonna line up the tabs, push it into place, getting it past that gasket and give it a turn till it stops. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. This is the high beam. Line the tabs up, push it in past that gasket, give it a turn till it stops. Although it may be very obvious to some, I do want to point out that there are two different bulbs for the high and low positions. The high and low beams are not simply a differing of positions, but they are in fact different bulbs with different power outputs. You can see on the low beam here, it says 9006 or HB4, and it also says 51 watts. On this high beam, it says 9005 or HB3, and it says 60 watts. So you definitely need to make sure you put the right bulb in the right location. And once we have the bulbs installed and ready to go, we're gonna grab our factory wiring harnesses, make sure they're lined up correctly, and clip them into place. With the bulbs installed, the wiring all connected, and the housing back in place, we can reinstall the bolts. Definitely like to start it by hand just to make sure you don't cross thread or break anything. And this is now fully installed, but I will have to re-aim these headlights. I now have the halogen bulbs installed in the driver's side and the LEDs installed in the passenger. Let's flip on the lights and see the difference in light output as well as color. Now this is very, very interesting. I actually prefer the look and the light output of the halogen bulb on the driver's side. This halogen bulb definitely puts out a lot of light. I would argue the same or even more than the LED. If you think about it, the light being emitted is coming out 360 degrees out of the bulb. So that light inside of that housing is being projected exactly like it was designed to do. Also, in my opinion, the color is a lot more fitting to this truck. It just seems like it's supposed to be that way. Taking a look at it from this LED side, you can see, although this LED does not look bad by any means, something just doesn't seem right. This style and this age of truck should not have a bright white light like that. It is supposed to look like this. And taking a look at the light being projected at the wall right here, and keeping in mind that the truck is not actually square to the wall, I feel like this halogen side has a much better beam pattern, a much more controlled pattern. While this LED side may seem brighter, and it might be, I'm not exactly sure, the beam pattern is definitely not as controlled. It's more like a flood pattern on this side. On this side, you have a nice hotspot in the middle and a pretty good horizontal pattern. And on this side, although we do have a hotspot, it just seems to be more of a spread out pattern. Do you guys prefer one over the other? If so, comment down below. Okay, with everything installed, we're gonna go ahead and turn on these lights to see just what they look like. Wow, look at that. This is the way the truck was born, and I think it looks great. 
In my opinion, this definitely looks a lot better than with the LEDs. I just squared the truck up with the wall a little better, and I also have it running just to have full brightness from these bulbs. Because, well, these are halogens. They do take a lot more power to run. So you're really not gonna get full output unless the truck is actually running and that alternator is charging the battery. But hopefully you can see a much better beam pattern. There is a very defined hot point as well as a nice horizontal band. Here in the garage, I think they look fantastic, but let's see what they look like compared to LEDs at night. All right, guys, let's see what these lights look like in the truck while driving down the road. And here are the LED low beams, and yes, they look pretty good. Let's switch over to the halogen low beams, and they also look really good. Definitely a lot more yellow, but that's to be expected. But definitely a focused light onto the street, and I really like it. We're now sitting still, and this is the LED low beam, and it does have a good bright beam, but it is a little bit more spread out, more like a floodlight, it seems. And here is the LED high beam, and the one thing I don't like is that I didn't see any increase in brightness, just positional change. Back to the low beams. And here is the halogen low beams, and they do look good. It is more focused onto the street, and here is the halogen high beams, and I did see an increase in brightness as well as position. So I like that. Back to the low beams. And this is a still image, and we are going to look at what this looks like versus the LED. These are both low beams. You can see the difference, and let's blend the two together. And here you can see it's slowly blending into the halogen light. And let's do that again so you can get a good sense of what's going on here. Now here is the halogen high beam, and let's go ahead and see what the LED version looks like. And there you can see it is a bit more spread out and sporadic, but still light. Now let's blend that halogen back in there, and to me, it seems like the halogen is a bit brighter. Let's do that again. Maybe we can confirm that. So we're now looking at the truck from the outside, looking at the halogens, low beams, and they do look gorgeous. And this of course is the LEDs. And you know, they do look good. Of course they look good. But I don't think it really fits the truck. That's just me. You can see that flare on that LED was a bit bluish greenish color. Here is that halogen, which of course is uh, more of like a yellowish orange color, kind of like the sun, and that makes sense because it's a burning filament inside of that uh, bulb. But they look good, and I am gonna definitely roll with this look, and here is the LEDs again in that same position. They also look good, it's just more of a cold look, not that warm fuzzy feeling, more of that cold feeling. I'm leaning towards the halogens. That's just my preference though, of course. I don't know, something about the warm glow of a halogen bulb just makes me feel like it looks better. It makes me feel more comfortable with it and maybe even more safe. I don't know if that's just me. You guys comment below and let me know what your overall thought process is on all of this. But looking at the street and how bright the street is here, and there may be camera exposure differences, but it seems to me that the halogen is definitely no slouch when compared to the LED. They both seem to have a very similar light output, but that halogen is doing a great job. In my eyes, I don't know guys, it would either be a draw to, I would say the halogen definitely leading. I know that those lens housings are definitely using that halogen light a lot better, then they're using the LED light, and that's just my opinion. Well, I had a lot of fun filming this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video and the channel. And also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. At this point, I'm gonna stick with the halogen bulbs. I really enjoy the look, but that's not to say that I can't change my mind later. And on that bombshell, I am Jimmy for One Road, and I will see you in the next one.